Hi, I'm Tom Riley, the Chancellor of Nevada System of Higher Education. Over the last several months, we have been engaged in a discussion with our Board of Regents, with our presidents of our eight institutions, with the community, students, faculty, and national leaders about what goals are more, most likely to move the needle on higher education. What I'd like to do is to share with you where we're at in that discussion and identify the five goals that we have discussed thus far. The first one has to deal with the issue of access, is increasing the participation of the number of Nevadans that are engaged in higher education. And when I talk about higher education, I mean that very liberally, anywhere from a certificate to a PhD. Currently in Nevada, about 26% of our population of those between the age of 18 to 24 uh, are engaged in higher education. The national average is almost 40%. Uh, we rank 49th. We have to do a better job about figuring out ways we can get more individuals in Nevada in higher education. Because what we do know is that access to higher education is the number one indicator of individual success. And what we've done in Nevada is we've relegated that just to 24% of our population. And these barriers extend beyond the issues of financial means. We really have to figure out how we can get more young people and get more Nevadans in general uh, engaged in our higher education system. Well, as you know, getting them into the system is only half the battle. Once they get in there, we have to concentrate and have laser focus on the issue of success. That is degree completion or certificate completion. Um, again, when we compare ourselves nationally, we're falling behind the number of individuals once they enter our institutions that actually get a certificate or degree. Our third goal is focused on actually closing the achievement gap uh, with many of our unrepresented populations. Um, currently right now in Nevada we are a majority minority system in enrollment. We have more minority individuals or ethnic minorities enrolled in our system as a whole. But when we start looking at the outcomes, particularly among the African American and Latino population, we are falling behind. We have to look at strategies and ways that we can close that achievement gap to ensure that in Nevada we have success for everybody. The fourth area focuses on the issue of workforce, that we're actually prepared to deal with the workforce needs uh, here in Nevada. What we have done is we have identified and aligned ourselves with the top 10 um, high demand occupations that the governor and his team has identified and looked at whether we're actually producing the type of certificates and degrees to meet that needs. Um, what we will see in the next five to ten years is that the amount of job creation and job elimination will occur at a pace that we haven't seen in a, a long period of time. At our community colleges le level, we are a lot more nimble uh, and the ability to respond to many of the workforce issues through two-year degrees or certif certificates is significant. But at our universities, not only do we need to be looking at producing those type of uh, uh, degrees uh, and the occupations and needs, but we also have to have our research institutions work with industries to identify the type of uh, uh, skill set that their industries will need in the future. Our fifth area focuses on the issue of research. Uh, from our research institutions at UNLV and UNR, uh, we need to concentrate on what it takes to become an R1 Carnegie high tiered level uh, research institution. Um, we are the largest populated state in the United States without an R1 designated research institution. We know what the metrics are. We have to concentrate ensuring that our focus uh, is on um, looking at those um, disciplines that are most likely to allow us to achieve that R1 status. But for all our institutions, we need to be able to convey to the public that the reason we do research is to solve problems. We're not just doing it for a theoretical uh, practice. We're actually engaged in problem solving um, in our communities, uh, in uh, our state, uh, and nationally and internationally. We need to better convey that. So these are the five goals that we have talked about. We need to increase access. We need to uh, increase student success. We need to close that achievement gap. We need to meet the workforce needs 
of Nevada, and we need to develop research that is actually focused on solving problems. Um, and what we've asked is that each of our institutions identify both a peer institutions and aspirational institutions in order to measure our success. Um, we would like these five goals to guide our conversation in the community and with the legislature, but more importantly is to guide what we talk about on our agendas. Think of it sort of as a litmus test, that it needs to fit within one of these five areas, because what we have discussed is that these five goals are the ones that are most likely to move the needle in higher education. So that's where we should be focused, our discussion and our dialogue at our board meetings. Um, so what you'll be seeing in the future is that each of our goals uh, will be discussed at every board meeting. We'll be bringing these up to the legislature as we ask for our budget. We'll be discussing these issues in the community. And more importantly, we'll be measuring our success uh, and where our progress is from a national perspective, a state perspective, and as I mentioned before, that we'll be looking at peer and aspirational institutions for each of our institutions to determine success. So what I'd like to do is to receive any type of feedback that you might have. You can reach me at uh, chancellor at nevada.edu um, and tell me, are, did we miss anything? Um, are we focused on the right issues? Um, and any other feedback you can have. Um, we need to do a better job in Nevada and we're poised to do that. Uh, we're looking at aligning all of our institutions that we're, we're, we're all part of this issue about increasing success, increasing quality, and increasing access for those in Nevada. Thank you.